Hey guys, this is Rajat Goel. You are watching TechArte, the best place to know the best features of your smartphone. And today in this video, we will be sharing 40 plus amazing features of Realme 3 Pro, which looks great, but it's made out of plastic, so doesn't feel that premium. Video might be a bit longer, but I would suggest you to watch this video till the end to know every detail of your smartphone. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into this video. Before I start this video, I would request you to remember to comment down the feature which you find the best out of these 40 features. And if you want to watch this video in Hindi then you know what to do, you can go and watch it on our Hindi channel. So the first and the important thing is not a software feature of the smartphone but it's the charger that you get inside the box. You get this Vogue 3.0 charger which works on 20 volts and you can charge your phone up to 50% in just 30 minutes, that's great. The second important thing is if you are using a Geo SIM in the smartphone, you can directly make a video call from the dialer. As soon as you type any number, you get to see an option to make a video call. Third, this phone also supports automatic call recording without any third party application, you just need to go to the settings in the dialer app. Here you can find call recording feature. You can turn it on from here and you can also record just selected or unknown calls from here. Color OS 6 also brings app drawer in your smartphone which is enabled by default as you can see here. To disable this you need to long tap on the home screen, select settings, go to home screen mode and select standard here. You need to confirm it by pressing switch button which will bring all your applications to the home screen disabling the drawer. Here in the drawer if you have noticed guys, you see some kind of suggestions based upon your usage pattern. To disable this if you don't like this, again you need to go to home screen settings and disable this option here which is show app predictions. One more interesting thing here is a kind of global search if you swipe down from the home screen. By using this search bar you can search your message messages, contacts, apps, settings or also perform an online search. This new version of ColorOS in this phone also provides easy home screen editing options. You need to pinch like this on your home screen. Now if you wish to move many applications at once, then you need to select all these applications and as you can see, you can easily move all these applications collectively. Whole UI is also changed in this new ColorOS 6 and now it actually is very colorful. And as you can see, here is the all new notifications panel which comes with larger shortcuts and you can click Clearly see why I called it colorful, it has different colors for different toggles. This phone also has a lot of options for navigations to choose from. These settings which you are seeing right now were not the default one, just go to settings, convenience aid and navigation keys. Here you can change your navigation settings. These were the default options. You can change this to this one in which you won't find any recent key and you can swipe up from bottom to go to recents. You can also use swipe up gestures here which completely removes the virtual buttons and now you can swipe up from center to go to home, long swipe to go to recents and swipe up from these edges to go back. In addition to this, you get to see an assistive bowl here, which can also be used for navigation. I'll show you how to do that. Just single tap to go back, long tap to go to home and double tap this bowl to go to recents. But let me tell you guys that new functions have been added to this assistive bowl. Earlier, you could only use this bowl for navigation, but now you can also use this bowl for shortcuts. Just select tap menu instead of this gesture option. And now you can see as soon as you click this bowl, it opens up five different shortcuts, which can also be customized. This looks very similar to kick pole in MIUI. You also get to see a smart sidebar in Realme 3 Pro and you can use a lot of shortcuts from here. For example, if you want to capture a screenshot, you can start screen recording from here or open any app and again it is customizable so you can add your favorite apps here. Some apps also support floating window feature here. Let me show you how this floating windows work. Let's assume you are using Chrome and you open this messaging app from this sidebar. The messages will open up as a floating window which looks very cool and which can be very useful. Left swiping on the home screen takes you to a smart assistant where again you will find many shortcuts and also some new things like this step tracker and calendar. You can definitely use this and also customize this in a lot of ways if you like it. But in case you feel irritated by this and you don't want this anymore, you can disable this by going into settings, smart service and disable smart assistant toggle here. Now we quickly move into the settings as you will find the best features of the smartphone here. If you go into the Wi-Fi here, you get an option named Wi-Fi assistant. Enabling this will allow the phone to always scan for available Wi-Fi networks and help you by connecting to the best network every time. If you also want your phone to intelligently switch between the data and Wi-Fi, you can also enable this second option. The next option is the one which I have never seen in any smartphone. This is dual channel network acceleration. If you turn on this option, the phone uses both Wi-Fi and data at the same time to help you get better network speeds. You might be shocked, I am too. This is the first time I have seen such an option. 
You also get many interesting options related to hotspot here like if you have enabled hotspot you can check how many devices are connected to your phone, you can block particular devices and can also limit the maximum number of devices that can connect to your smartphone. If you want to cast your phone's display on some other smart device, you can use this option named multi-screen interaction. You just need to enable this option to see a list of available devices and connect to one. You might have noticed that by default there is no real time connection speed or battery percentage in the status bar. You don't need any kind of magic to enable them. Just go to notifications and status bar and enable these toggles here which are show battery percentage and show real time connection speed. If you go into display and brightness settings here you can change the screen color of your smartphone which is not very common. You can choose warm or cool colors as you may like it. But I feel the better option here is the night shield where you can schedule the display to be warmer at specific times every day whenever you use your phone extensively. This way you can help save your eyes from the bluish tint which might be dangerous. Here you can see a full screen display option in the display and brightness where you can enable your apps to run in full screen. Utilizing this area notch area on both sides, you need to enable this toggle which is notch area display. As the whole UI has changed with the new color OS 6, the volume slider has also changed and now the default volume is set to the media volume instead of notifications. And to change the notifications volume now you need to press these three dots and then you can change it. But to change this whole scenario you need to go to sounds and vibration settings and here under default volume button adjustment select the ringtone volume. If you are addicted to listening music through any wired earphones or headphones, then you can use this real sound technology feature to enhance the sound experience. But remember this works only with wired headphones and not for a loudspeaker. If you go into fingerprint face and passcode settings here under privacy passcode, you get app lock and private space internal in the smartphone. Just enable this privacy passcode by setting your password. And again, if you need to lock apps or keep some files hidden, you don't need any third party application. If you are using face unlock in the smartphone then you might have noticed that you need to swipe up to unlock even after the face has been detected. To change this you need to go to fingerprint face and passcode, select face here, enter your passcode here and then select this option here which is directly with your face. Now if you lock your smartphone and try to unlock it using your face, the phone directly unlocks and you don't need to swipe up again. Another thing which you might have noticed in this phone is that the phone detects your face even if your eyes are closed which makes it a little bit insecure I guess but you can change this by enabling this toggle which is closed eyes will fail face recognition and now closed eyes won't unlock your smartphone. If you love using different gestures to control your smartphone then we definitely have a lot of similarities. Go to convenience side, select gestures and motions and here you will find every type of gesture and motion control for your smartphone. You have screen of gestures which include double tap to wake up and drawing some letters on lock screen for some quick actions and also music controls from the lock screen using different type of gestures. You have motion gesture support here for calls like automatically answering the call. If you take your phone near your ears or you want to silent your smartphone just by flipping it during a phone call, you can also enable a raise to turn on screen here which means if your phone is lying somewhere and as soon as you pick it up, it automatically wakes up. And you can turn on three finger screenshots to take screenshots like this. Here is the three finger screenshot option. Let me tell you that this phone also supports long screenshots. If you are in settings and you want to capture a screenshot here, here you need to click on long screenshot. Now swipe this up to which you want to capture the screen and then press done here. And here you can see some kind of magic. A whole long screen has been captured in a single screenshot. There is also a kids space feature in the security tab. If any kid also use your smartphone and you want to restrict them from using or doing some specific things things on your smartphone, you can control that from this option. You might have noticed that there is no memory status in the recent menu now. To enable this go into settings, additional settings and enable this toggle which is display RAM or memory status. One more important thing to notice is that this phone sports OTG but you need to enable this whenever you want to use it. To enable this you need to go to additional settings in the settings menu and turn on OTG connection here. It automatically turns off if you are not using it for more than 10 minutes. One of the best features of this smartphone could have been the the presence of clone apps feature internally in the smartphone which is same as dual apps but this feature is very much limited as this can only clone some social media applications such as Facebook, WhatsApp or messengers. As you know this phone has a great processor to boost its performance you also get a gaming space feature here where firstly you manually need to add games into it and then it can be turned on during the games to enhance the performance of the smartphone and also it enables the no distance.
disturbance mode which helps by hiding notifications and restricting Wi-Fi or data for background purposes. To use split screen, you can directly swipe up on any window using three fingers. This option is enabled by default. If you go into app split screen here in the settings, here you can enable or disable the split screen itself and also this three finger swipe up gesture can be turned on or off. Now we quickly move to the camera section to know the amazing camera features of the smartphone. Camera software is really good in the smartphone. First and the most important thing is the 960 FPS slow motion recording feature. This is basically a super slow mo feature which can give you a cinematic effect if you use this in good lighting condition. Second important thing is that you can shoot 4K videos from the rear camera of the smartphone. Front camera can shoot up to full HD. The photos mode in the camera app also has a nightscape mode which can be very helpful during the nighttime photography as the rear camera has a f1.7 lens in the smartphone. You can also use fingerprint shutter in the smartphone that is you can use your fingerprint sensor to click photos. You just need to go to camera settings and here turn on fingerprint shooting. Also you get a screen recorder app internal in the smartphone so if you wish to record your phone screen you again don't need any third party application here. Here in the notifications panel you need to click this icon and you will find the screen recording icon below somewhere. Bring it in the top 16 and now you can just tap on this to start the screen recording. You need to click on this to stop the recording. You can also long tap on this icon to go to the settings of this app. Two amazing apps which you get internally in the smartphone are Compass and FM Radio Sport. If you open Compass, then you can easily browse the directions just in case you need them. And if you go to the FM Radio app, you will need to insert an earphones to use this. So these were the best features of the smartphone friends. Don't forget to comment below the feature which you find the best. Please give a huge thumbs up if you like this video and check out our Hindi channel for more fresh content on the smartphone. You can comment below if you have some queries related to this video and yeah, do subscribe and press the bell icon for many more interesting upcoming videos.